The title of this article is credited to Dr. Akim Baba Ahmed, spokesman of the Northern Elders Forum. He is an erudite spokesman who makes no pretense about his position on issues. According to reports, Dr. Akim spoke to the students' wing of the Coalition of Northern Groups, CNG, on Saturday, September 18th, at Amado Bello University in Zaria. He was quoted as saying, if a northerner is elected president of Nigeria in 2023, heaven will not fall. On Tuesday, just before Dost could settle on his postponement, he made yet another confounding statement on Arise TV. Indeed, Dr. Hakim is correct in his assessment of the North's ability to sustain itself without the wealth of the South. Let us reason with the man before we crack our ribs with laughter and that like butterflies. He mentioned the North being a prosperous region. Can we disagree on this? The North wealth came, you know, come, pardon, from its people, the mineral resources scattered across its land and the landmass itself, the water available in its plains, and the vast agricultural value chain being, you know, the vast agricultural value chain, pardon, begging to be re-engineered. People who possesses all of the aforementioned characteristics can only be poor if they are subjected to poor leadership and succumb to indolence. This has been the North undoing. Revenue will be generated in the billions if the North took on livestock alone and invested in it in such a way that a modern approach to livestock keeping was adopted. The livestock industry in the Netherlands generates more than 9 billion euros per year. Meat dairy, eggs, wool, and leather are all products of livestock. When other agricultural products are improved and added to the revenue generating portfolio, earnings will skyrocket. There are various mineral resources waiting to be mined. If they are extracted, more money will be available in the northern ports. The north may not be as wealthy as the oil rich in the south, but they will have enough to live on. The problem with the north is how the country is currently structured and managed. All states receive a share of what a few states generate. This handout from the center has caused the northern states to do less and less of what they should you know be doing to maximize their potential the situation borders on the you know abs abysmal pardon abysmal poor and greedy politicians that have led the country this you know is the need to restructure the way the country is currently the way the country is being run currently now has never been more apparent than it is today. It must be done in order to unleash the North's strength and potential. If the handouts from Abuja stop, the North states and region will have to think about and take responsibilities for charting their own destiny for the better. What is your thought about this? According to what we've heard, the need to restructure the way the country is currently run, you know, the way the country is currently being run has never been more apparent than it is today. It must be done in order to unleash the North's strength and potential. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this current situation of things? Do you think the Northern part has what it takes to make more income revenues to live on even without the handouts from Abuja. What is your reaction to this? 
According to what has been said earlier in the news, the title of this article is credited to Dr. Akim Baba Ahmed, who is the spokesman for the Northern Elders Forum. Is an erudite spokesman who makes no pretense about his position on issues. And according to the news, the North can survive without the billions of dollars provided by the Southern states. Do you think that could be possible? Who would like you to share your own thoughts with us on this pain development? Who would like you to share your own, you know, point of view with us on this that has been said? But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Moshe Kubi reacted to this and said, The problem with the northern elite is mental laziness and wickedness. They actually have a lot of mineral resources that can generate revenues, but because of the skewed federalism that gives them a greater share of the revenue generated largely from the south, the parasites refused to develop their resources. Wicked people, they traveled abroad for treatments, send their children to school abroad while the majority of their people are beggars with all kinds of you know, curable and in fact preventable diseases. They have the highest proportion of kids out of school and continue to deceive their masses with religion. These people are wicked. They are wicked people. That is what Kobe has said. What is your reaction to this according to what we've heard and according to what, what Kobe have said? The northern part of Nigeria has what it takes. They have the you know enough mineral resources that can generate revenue for them. But because of laziness, because of mental laziness and wickedness, according to what Moshe have said, and because of the skewed federalism that gives them a federal share, you know, and a greater share of the revenue generated largely from the south. That's why these people have refused to develop their resources. Guesty also reacted and said, Not not. Why must everything be north? Something is not correct somewhere. Why must it be not all the time? It shows that something is wrong somewhere. Every time not, every time not, something is wrong somewhere. That is what guests have said. You know, without anybody telling anyone, it is obvious that something is truly wrong, something is not correct somewhere. Because this issue of northern part of Nigeria is really confusing. According to what Kobe has said, they have the you know a lot of mineral resources that can generate revenue, but because of the skewed federalism that give them a greater share of the revenue generated largely from the south. That is why these people have failed to develop their resources. Who would like you to share your own point of view with us on the Spanish development? Who would like you to share your own reaction via the comment section? Don't forget that the North can survive without the billions of dollars provided by the Southern states. That's what has been said by the spokesman you know, for the Northern Elders Forum, Akim Baba Ahmed. Who would like you to share your thoughts with us on this? Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.